can music make you more creative? That's what we're gonna be talking in this video. The answer is of course yes, otherwise I wouldn't be making this video. But not all music can make you more creative. Before we get into what music and why can it make you more creative, I will first tell you how did I come by this topic, that how can music make you more creative. I've been super interested in the brain and how does it work and how can you take absolute most out of it. Uh, since last autumn and I started out this brain kind of learning process uh, from Tim Quick's book Limitless and it's a great book by the way, I definitely recommend it. Anyway for the first time because of this book I realized how much can music actually impact you and you might already know this. For example if you listen to very happy music then you're probably gonna feel more happy. If you listen to sad music then you're probably gonna feel more sad. Music impacts our mood and mood impacts everything in our lives thus creativity. Some people know me for my unique and uh, very creative NFT projects and photographs I've been doing in the NFT space and many have wondered and asked me like uh, how on earth do you get these ideas and mood definitely plays a big part in this. See if you're in a good mood then you're gonna get way different thoughts than if you'd be in a bad mood and the funny thing is that when you're feeling like angry or like super negative overall that impacts like um, a lot of your creativity but with music you can get out of this state and you can get yourself much more creative. How can music do this all? Good question. Music does this through something called brainwaves. We all have brainwaves but what kind of brainwaves we currently have determine how we feel. So by changing brainwaves you can literally change how you feel and what kind of thoughts you get. So change your brainwaves, you change your life. There's four different brainwave states, beta, alpha, theta and delta. We won't get to into all of those, now we're just gonna focus on theta brainwaves. This is the most creative state a human can be in. And this is where you can make the biggest breakthroughs and get the best ideas. Humans can get into this state also without music, but with music it's much easier. Theta state is also known as a state between sleeping and staying awake. Einstein is actually very famous for this. He used to sit on a chair and have a rock on his uh, hand, and uh, like when he was like uh, falling asleep, then the rock would be drop to the floor and wake him up. And th this is the way he stayed in this theta state all the time and made his own breakthroughs. So this Einstein way of course isn't very practical for everyone, but you could try it too. But much easier is just by using music. By listening to certain type of music you can change your brainwave state. So nowadays you can just play music and the music then will be sending different kind of frequencies to your brain and then this will change your brain waves and putting you to theta state. So simply put, you can choose music and, uh, you, and this music will put you to theta state. Okay, here we go, great, but what kind of music should I then listen to to get into the state? Great question. Low frequency music between 4 and 7 Hz. If that didn't help at all, don't worry. There's two very easy ways to get this kind of music. The first one and the absolute free one is that uh, you just go to YouTube and you type theta brainwave music and then you just find something there and you click and you play and that's simple. Another option, and in my opinion much better option, is Brain.fm. They provide music that is actually made by scientists and AI specifically for your brain. I personally use this and I can 100% recommend using it. They don't even require a credit card for the free trial, so you can just sign up and I'll try how it is. They have also music for other purposes like deep work, or meditation, sleeping and relaxing. So basically what you can do is to go to print.fm and press like, for example, I want to be now more focused and then that music will be sending certain type of frequencies to your brain and that will be putting you to more focused state. It sounds like magic, it's, it's incredible. And it only takes like 10 minutes to kick in. I gotta say the first time I heard of this print.fm from Tony Robbins and once I tried it myself, then I immediately tried and I applied to, um, to be their affiliate and uh, luckily they accepted that. I was like, I really want to let everybody know about this amazing magical tool. So luckily for those of you who want to try the option 2, I have a discount code for you. Just use this code on the screen right now and you'll be getting 20% off. And for legal purposes, yes, I will also be getting a commission if you choose to, to use my code while purchasing it. But remember that there's a free trial so you don't need to go and purchase it, just try it first and then see if you like it. So there's no risk to try, right? So there's a link in the description, you can just go there and uh, try that yourself. And if you would rather go to the option 1, I'm sure that's gonna work amazing for you as well. So no worries at all if you don't if you don't want to get this uh, brand.fm. 
So that was a lot of info about music and creativity and I hope that now you know how to take advantage of music and how to be much more creative. And before you click off this video, please make some sort of decision. Because many people just watch YouTube like all day long and they don't like make any action after the video and then that info is completely wasted. Knowledge is only potential power and it only becomes power when you use that knowledge for something. So now choose, do you want to try out this kind of music? If not, that's your decision. But if you want to do it, then go with option 1 or with option 2. So please do that decision because I don't want that you watch any of my videos or other people's videos and wasting time if you are not gonna do something with that information. So remember to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this and also hit the like if you like this video. And then uh, see you in the next video then. Bye. Good stuff. I don't know how many bloopers did I get this time. Might be a bit less. Or than quite much. <laughs> we'll see. I look quite tired though. Hopefully in the video I won't look this tired. I'm not tired. Before we get into... Uh, I first tell you. Before we get into the... Before we get into... Anyway, in this book I first... Anyway, in this book for the first time. Anyway, for me. Uh, Peter McKinnon and all essential and videos like this. Oh. Should I do, do do this too? Can I cover this whole thing? Mm, you can still see my lamp. Oh. <laughs> okay. Just.